This is the Jordan Museum in Amman. It's a showcase for 1.5 million years of Jordanian history. And its star attraction, 23 pieces of heavily oxidized metal. But joined together, they form a single copper scroll, the only Dead Sea scroll made of metal. And its message would prove to be even more remarkable than the material it's made from. Imagine that moment of the archaeologist cleaning the dirt and this roll of a long copper sheet is uncovered. What could be so significant about this? I'm sure they were very puzzled and excited by this discovery. The archaeologist could make out just a few letters of an ancient text. But the scroll was incredibly brittle, and they feared that unrolling it could cause it to disintegrate. What followed was a four-year wait, as experts debated how to safely unfold the tantalizing manuscript. In 1956, John Allegro, a Dead Sea Scrolls scholar, persuaded the Jordanian Department of Antiquities to make a radical decision. The scroll was flown over 2,000 miles to England's Manchester College of Science and Technology. The task of opening the ancient manuscript fell to Professor Henry Wright Baker. His challenge, to open the scroll without reducing 2,000 years of history to dust. In the end, um, uh, Wright Baker applied his uh, mechanical genius uh, to end up with a, a simple solution to what had seemed to be uh, an insolvable problem. Wright Baker's solution was simple, but risky. To cut the scroll into pieces using a miniature circular saw and a modified dentist drill. Wright Baker was um, very uh, worried that, in fact, as the saw was applied to the oxidized copper, the whole thing would shatter. To everyone's relief, the technique worked. Wright Baker was left with 23 individual, undamaged sections of text. 